hello beautiful people welcome back to the channel and here I am again with our e-commerce video I took a long uh, a lot of time to produce another video because of this and that but that's not the goal here let's go back to it well uh, way before we even get into the video there's something I would like to let you guys know I just created this Facebook group called everything flatter here you can come you can post your doubts uh, if you want can be doubts related with the videos I post or doubts related to anything uh, related to flatter right you can have doubts on your own project you, you, you may need some tips if you want to share your work anything and everything related to flatter we can communicate here and another reason that made me create this group is that a lot of times I see you guys having doubts uh, and most of the time some doubts are related but you guys just post them in different videos on the comments and it's hard for me to keep track of all of the comments and reply to all of the doubts so here it's going to be easier to have access to me or to other people watching the videos other flutter developers right enough of the talking make sure you go to, our, to, to, to your Facebook and join the group it's an open group just go and join I'll leave the link in the description right let's get back to our video well since our last video a lot happened and I believe that you can see that on the UI on this particular video unfortunately I'm not going to actually teach you guys how I did this because I kind of changed the UI completely for the time I wasn't uh, I was kind of busy and I didn't have the time to post what are we going to do in this video I'll walk you through what I did right so that from the next video on Monday we will start uh, fetching data from our firebase perfect this is what you have and uh, I believe that you guys will need to just go and pull this code from the repo if this is your first video great you can you can just go link of the source code is going to be in the description and if it's not probably you will need to just pull the code as well right to make our lives easier mine and yours right so uh, this is the new UI we have and I believe it looks better uh, and this is what we have for our sign up page and I'll create a fake account here uh, Santos it's enough I can put here Santos at test.com and my password one two three one two three let's sign up the very first thing you're going to see is that our home page changed and I'm going to open the file and try to walk you guys through what I did to have things looking like that okay I tried to comment on the code as much as I could so that when you guys are reviewing the code it's going to be super super easy for you guys to understand what's happening and I try to keep this as clear and clean as possible right so here we have one second okay here we have our home screen our home screen uh, I decided to separate these intersections first we have our custom app bar which are these three icons here I can expand this and you guys will see oops I have our custom app bar here and if I open one second uh, before I forget I changed the project structure as well if you can see we had uh, two directories one com called commons and well one another called components I decided to change it uh, to widget screen provider and DB to make it easier and on our widget we just have a group of common widgets throughout the screens and um, like this card we may need to use this in uh, other screens so we don't have to be writing this code all of the time right so we have our custom app bar here which is the first thing if I go open it you'll see that this is just these three icons here um, going back to our home page 
we have our search widget which is this text field here right and then we have our featured products this is another widget which is this list view builder I just set the axis of this list view builder to horizontal and I have these cards there I can go and open up this section of the code and if you see we just have a list view builder that returns featured card and a featured card is a widget for this card here right and it has name price and picture simple as simple as that and um, going again back to the home page you have our product card which represents this section here and if I expand this, um, this is what you're going to get, the, the code to make this possible. One of the reasons why I didn't record while doing this is because we spent a lot of time working with the UI of the project. And now uh, I'm trying to focus on the back-end structure of the project, right? The cloud functions, the Firebase stuff, HTTP requests if you need, if we need any, right? so uh and i wanted to make the project beautiful and ready to use so that you guys can use this for your potential customers you can put this on your githubs as well and uh to make it ready to use simple put and we have a new screen as well i created called the project details and this looks way 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 more better than what we used to have and the code for this is here in the screens and we have project details uh, maybe I still need to organize this into widgets and the same way we did to our home page, right? But we can do that together so you guys will understand what's going on. But here we have our image, the price, the colors. So the idea here is that on the, 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 the admin side, when we set the colors, the colors are going to be displayed like this for the user. And the, the sizes are going to be displayed like that. Then we have the description, the buy now button, add to cart button, and to add this to our wish list. So uh, this is all I did. This is all of the changes I've done. And from the next video, which is going to be coming up on Monday, we will start fetching our data from the database. But obviously, we will need to change a bit the way we deal, the way we are storing our data into the database. We may need to add some additional information there. Like, for example, if you see here, uh, we have this project on sale, on sale. So we, we, we will need to have a way to say, oh, set a project, uh, a product has a sale product so that this will be displayed to the user on sale. And probably in the future we can even uh, add the percentage the sale percentage like 50% off and stuff and we need to have a way to set some products has featured products so that they will this they will be displayed here has featured products right so guys uh, this was it I just came here to show you guys try to explain you guys what happened with our new UI tell you guys that we back Monday uh, today is Friday Monday we're going to have our first first video on fetching the, the data from the database but we will need to modify a bit the way we're storing the data on the database and then we're going to fetch that to our user side of the app right so uh, hopefully you did like this video and if you did don't forget to leave the thumbs up don't forget to uh, activate the small bell button so you'll be notified every time I post and if you're not a member of the family make sure you subscribe don't forget don't forget to go to your Facebook and search for everything flutter join the family I'll be posting there as well and you can uh, get in touch with me way 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 more easily take care see you guys on the next one